Samsung has just launched their Galaxy Tab S3, the successor to the Tab S2, which was released back in 2015. The tablet sports a new premium design, great specs and a lot more other features. Just before we start, this video was made in collaboration with Steven from Tech Magnet, so make sure to check his channel out. My name is Linus, stay tuned. Once I first picked the Galaxy Tab 3 up, my impression was that it looked just like the Galaxy smartphones. That means that you have a premium design which looks great, but the tablet is a huge fingerprint magnet, just like the Galaxy smartphones. The Tab S3 is rather light at 429 grams, and it is very thin measuring at just 6 millimeters. The 9.7 inches 2K resolution display uses Super AMOLED technology and it looks just gorgeous. Punchy and saturated colors, deep blacks and other features that are common to high quality displays. Just below the display, we can find a classic Samsung's button layout that consists of a home key that doubles as a fingerprint sensor and nicely backlit capacitive buttons. Samsung wants to boost your productivity by including the S Pen, so you don't need to buy it separately. The S Pen now has 4000 pressure levels, meaning that it is more accurate than ever. I was actually really impressed with its accuracy and ease of use. If you prefer using the tablet just for media consumption, there are four stereo speakers tuned in collaboration with AKG and Harmer Kardon. The sound quality is great, very strong and clear. As far as the main specs go, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chip, 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage which is expandable via the microSD card slot. Well, these are kind of mid-2016 specs but there should be enough power to handle anything you throw at this tablet. Well, at least these are my first impressions after playing with this device for some time. It's great that Samsung implemented a decent 13 megapixels camera with f1.9 aperture and a 5 megapixel shooter on the front. Samsung is offering some accessories like a keyboard to make the Galaxy S3 like a real 2-in-1 device, allowing you to seamlessly move from watching a video to getting on with a report or writing your first novel. The tablet can be easily attached to the keyboard which is sold separately using the pogo pins, meaning that they sync automatically and you never need to recharge the keyboard. Also, I love that the keyboard stays firmly when it is attached. Speaking of that keyboard, I found it to be really comfortable to type on. The buttons have a good feedback and they have a rubberized finish which is nice to the touch. The tablet has a 6000 mAh battery that should last you for about 8 hours. Well, it's a pretty good result but I would prefer a slightly thicker profile of the tablet for a larger battery. At least the fast charger is supplied in the box. The user interface looks very similar to the Galaxy smartphone's UI, no surprises here. Obviously, there are some added features and optimizations for the S Pen, which definitely increases productivity and it is really easy to get used to using it. The pricing and availability is not yet announced and that will be one of the pivotal points in the Tab S3's and Apple iPad Pro's rivalry. My conclusions are that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 is a really solid yet not perfect tablet. I love how the device looks and feels, although I've never been a huge fan of glass used in the construction. Also, the display is one of the best I've seen on any tablet and I didn't have any stutter in the user interface. However, the Galaxy Tab S3 does not ship with the latest Snapdragon chip available and there should have been at least 64GB of internal storage in my opinion. It was Linus, thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to the Techline HD for a full review and a lot more other videos. Also, please follow Techline HD on social media for the latest updates. See you soon.